Hi, this is Cheryl Gallant, your conservative member of parliament for the rural riding of Renfrew and Nipissing Pembroke. Under Justin Trudeau, the use of contractors by government departments has exploded. Since the Liberals took office, contracts at the Defense Department went from 700 in 2015 to 7,000 today. One of those contractors is a man CTV News identifies as David Yao. He owns a company called Dalian Enterprises. Dalian received a $7.9 million contract as part of the Arrive Scam Bonanza. Now it's being revealed that David Yao is a federal employee working at National Defense. It's clear that a Rive scam was just the tip of the iceberg. Just how widespread the shell or zombie contractors are is unknown. And it will remain that way as long as the liberals are in power. Freedom of speech champion Lindsay Shepard has broken an incredible story on True North News. It's an interesting read. The headline is Diversity Dysfunction at Wilfrid Laurier University Faculty of Social Work. You have to read the whole thing yourself because it's unbelievable. The Coles Notes version is the Dean for the Faculty of social work accused her indigenous colleagues of being anti-black racists and violent. Those colleagues accused her of being an anti-indigenous racist and using colonial violence against them. All of this stems over whether staff should attend a meeting by Zoom or not. Neither the dean nor the professors actually engaged in any real violence. No one actually said anything a normal person would consider racist. These are just toxic people. Wilfred Laurier reviewed the matter and decided the easiest thing to do was to promote the dean out of her position and put her in charge of other people. Naturally, for the Trudeau liberals, toxic people are who they want advising them about defense and national security. The Minister of National Defense appointed this former dean to be the chair of the Military College Review Board. A recent survey found out about 15% of Canadians are radical, woke activists who bully people by screaming racist wolf. So we have a radical social worker appointed to kill the military colleges and turn them into training grounds for new Marxist climate change warriors. Unfortunately, our defense minister won't stand up to the bully prime minister or the ones he hires. The RCMP are either incompetent or compromised. This week we heard shocking testimony from RCMP officials about the SNC-Lavalin scandal. To recap, the Prime Minister of Canada tried to interfere in the criminal prosecution of a major employer in his riding to help with his re-election. When the Justice Minister of the day, Jody Wilson-Raybould, refused to bow to the enormous pressure from the Prime Minister, his staff, the top bureaucrat, and the Finance Minister, she was replaced by David Send in the Tanks, Lametti. Trudeau's attempt at stopping the prosecution of a federal criminal case was a glaring case of obstruction of justice. The RCMP has just admitted that they closed the case without ever interviewing the prime suspect, the prime minister. 
For a long time, the RCMP had actually left the impression they were being obstructed from investigating this due to cabinet confidentiality, meaning the RCMP, let us think, Trudeau was obstructing the investigation into his obstruction. But it turns out they didn't even try to interview him. On a recent episode of Gallant Night News, I told you how the Liberals had been holding back their climate bribes from small businesses. The Canadian Federation of Independent Business had asked the Liberals when the money would be returned to small businesses. Last week, the Liberals gave their answer. They said there was no more money for small business. And then the Trudeau Liberals said it was the fault of rural Canadians. You see, when the Liberals announced they would temporarily pause the carbon tax on home heating in predominantly Liberal ridings, they also announced they would be increasing the rural top-up on the quarterly climate bribe from 10% to 20%. The big city media largely focused on the pausing of the carbon tax for homes heated with oil, while ignoring the fact the Liberals were effectively admitting they had always been lying about the 80% of Canadians receiving more than they pay. Now the Liberals are trying to pit rural Canadians against small business owners. Justin Trudeau can only cling to power by dividing people. But common sense Canadians are uniting behind our conservative team and together we'll ax the carbon tax, build more homes, fix the budget and stop the crime wave. Trudeau has introduced the third part of his three part plan to control the internet. Justin Trudeau wants to send Live from Ottawa, this is Cheryl Gallant.